To make the spelling list, it's pretty easy and you can do it in a few different ways. Um, we actually made our cover photo and explained everything a long time ago. Now you're more than welcome to do it in the drawing. So just go to add an item, post a student journal, and then do a drawing. And obviously you can make this as fun or simple as you want. Um, so I might say list 22 and maybe I want to make it pretty. Um, and then, all right, now that that's done, now I go and record the test. So I would click record and record my voice reading the words and the students will then be able to listen to them. So number one, cat, for instance. When I'm done and click the green check, click the green check. Now, you may notice that we do not have any students in this class. So we found it was really helpful. Um, every year we end up archiving our current class. So we make a kind of a fake class, a bonus class that we can put things in that we want to save from year to year. So this is actually our first grade class where all the first grade teachers have access to it and they can use anything on it. And then it's always there year after year because we don't archive it. So that's why there's no students. So, and then these are all of our things that we create. So I can put it in my spelling list and click the green check. And there it is. So then what I do, so you see that we put it in the spelling list folder. Now, at the beginning of the year, we went through and made all of these tests, which may seem a little time consuming, but by the end of the year, it's not a big deal. So then once I have those all in the folder, then I go to that folder and I go print PDF. So then it's going to print the entire PDF with QR codes at the bottom of each list. And then you can um, cut the QR code out and mount it in your classroom. The other thing that we had talked about, so our students accessed the list um, or the spelling test on Friday, but then they also, after they take their spelling test, they scan a QR code on their new spelling list. Um, so we created... Um, videos to go along with all of our spelling lists. And there's a couple different ways that you could do that. You could save an image of your um, an image of your um, spelling list. And then instead of highlighting, you could just use the draw feature to um, to like underline the words as you're going and show the students which words you're reading.